So um, shouldn't worry about what people think. So <laughs> there's five. There's five. There's five. Must ask yourself why questions. So when you ask anybody what you think, there are five questions you should always ask yourself. So try not to focus on performance, how much people like my idea, because it's a very poor indicator of success. But when you ask people what they think, ask yourself these five questions. Firstly, do they like my idea because it's familiar and similar to what they already know? Mm. So is the reason why they're liking it actually, does that actually mean that, it's just because it fits with the current their current view and feelings about the world. Secondly, which is related to that, is do, do they like my idea? Are people saying nice things about my idea? Because it actually makes it easy for them to keep on doing what they currently do. For better In other words, or worse. <laughs> for better, for worse. Exactly. So are people embracing the idea because actually in the real world, it's going to mean that they can ignore it? they don't have to change in the way that you want them to if you ask yourself those two questions they're related for starters it makes you think about like in a whole different way Mm. the third thing is which is the other side of that is do they dislike my idea because it challenges those behaviors and attitudes that i'm hoping to shift Mm. or do they dislike it because it's actually not very good you have to work that out and it might yeah. be the latter. That's probably the hardest question, isn't it? Yeah, but, but at least you're asking that question rather than just taking like or dislike at face value. Because what happens is you're working out what it means rather than just listening to the response. The fourth question you have to ask yourself is, are, are the bits that they don't like, the rough edges that people reject, the stuff that they try to just smooth away, are they the bits that make my idea actually stand out? Mm. Or, going back to the cat, do they fundamentally undermine people's ability to engage with my idea? Mm. Once again, you can't just take whether people like or dislike your idea at face value. You have to think about what it means, and then it's up to you to work out what to do. And the fifth question is, do they like my idea because they're being nice to me? And the answer to that is probably yes. Depends on who you are, but yes, I... Uh... Depends on who you are, but if you are, certainly if you ask people face-to-face or you ask people, they're, you know, even if they're not being particularly polite, they're still probably couching their true feelings if they're asked to be true. Mm-hmm.